Hey, hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly reading for December 15th to the 21st of 2019. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. These are general meanings. Okay, Sagittarius, off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere, the basis and the issue of the matter. This is the situation. Well, this is your card, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. This is someone that's independent. They're influential. And they help those that they care about. You can rely on their honesty and intelligence they're loyal and they're fair-minded. This can also refer to a situation which is exactly as it appears to be with no hint of deception. It can also represent good fortune coming your way. It could be in the form of unexpected help or advice, good news or a promotion or an inheritance. This is passion for a project, spinning things around in your head. This is someone that's loyal and noble and sometimes they're impatient and hasty. They get bored by the predictable. This can be that unexpected heritage or a good marriage or a devoted friend, someone that's strong and powerful. They have great belief in their self and their achievements. They may long for the day that they rode free as a knight. They dislike dis details. They would rather lead than follow. He's charming and inspiring, and he's mastered the use of the fiery element. And they're wise about business, and they know when to take action and how to create harmonious human relationships in the process. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. This can be a delay to your forward progress. Number 12 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Hanged Man. This can be a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It can be in your chart or someone else's. This is the energy of a sacrifice, a new perspective, its attachment with suspension, and a sacred pursuit. It's self-surrender to a higher wisdom. It's surrendering to what is. As in, in spiritual matters, this can represent wisdom and prophetic power, a pause in life, and suspended decisions. It's self-surrender that leads to the transformation of the personality, and now material temptation is conquered as well as clinging to substance abuse. This has to do with patience and waiting and reviewing. It's one of the tarot's strongest and most powerful images. This is someone that's connected to the deep currents of life, someone that knows their own mind, they're independent with their own values, and they will not be moved until they are ready. This is peace and self-reliance often following a difficult period, especially one of self-examination. You may be clinging to something unfulfilling. You'll need to let go and move on. This is a unique point of view, a sacrifice for a greater good. Someone being humble or self-sacrificing, feeling frustrated or lost or feeling like they're in limbo and powerless to effect change. You might be doing things like surrendering or coping, coping, suffering, waiting, experiencing delay, sustaining short-term deprivation for a long-term gain could be losing position or ground, or seeing from a different perspective. It's a need to balance out intuition and sensitivity with logic. It's a voluntary of giving up of something in order to get something of greater value, and it's a time of greater understanding. Your life is simply suspended for a time in order to recognize what needs to be changed in the personality, in order to embody more light. That's what the nimbus around the man's head represents. It's new insight. The King of Wands with the Hangman, this can represent a change in perspective. This can also represent the modern man. And now your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're aware of. The Ace of Swords, Sagittarius, Air Energy. The root of all Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is a new beginning that you're aware of. It has to do with truth and realization and clarity. 
new beginnings, a brand new way of life. It's a major breakthrough, a new direction in your life, and it brings prosperity and recognition and spiritual growth. It represents triumph over difficulties. It can be a spark, a communication. It's extremely promising. It's a sense of inevitable change comes with this card, a card of great power and force and strength. So build your strength against adversity and study all aspects of a problem carefully and do not make any rash or hurried decisions. Communication is a need of clarifying. Clarifying. It's finding clear meaning or the truth. This card always delivers a reality of a situation. These are new perspectives emerging and with them new convictions. It's new clarity and getting to the point and checking facts. It's all one way and no gray area and no compromise. Someone being alert, scrupulous, disciplined, honest, coherent, articulate, principled. This is getting to the point and checking facts. It's proclaiming your truth and keeping your promises. The King of Wands with the Ace of Swords, this is gaining clarity about what needs to be done to get more out of an opportunity. This can represent an opinionated leader. Your fourth card, it's the card of the future. The results, the outcome, and the resolution. This can be a surprise being in the future position. Any time a prediction can be a surprise. The Two of Pentacles, Sagittarius, Earth Energy. This is the ability to juggle two situations at one time, and your skillful manipulation is going to achieve success. And there is the cosmic lemonscape there. That is infinite potentials. This has to do with changes, multitasking, juggling, someone's Jupiter and Capricorn, someone trying to balance, balancing priorities. Your concentration is required. You could be incredibly busy. This has to do with material concerns or two situations. It's new facts and the results come to the foreground and present you with a new perspective. You need and you do find new results, and when your life undergoes change, it's normal to have some insecurity and temporary upsets. It's managing your life with grace. It may be necessary to keep several things going at once. This can be a change in financial matters. It's harmony with the change and being flexible enough to keep everything moving. This change may be in a money situation and it's favorable, and it's keeping your good sense of humor as you juggle life circumstances your hands are full and life is moving fast. King of Wands with the Two of Pentacles, this is taking a chance with your finances. And now your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's not something that you're sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Two of Wands, Sagittarius, fire energy, which is your element. This is the card of I want. It's, it's being of having started something and you're awaiting those results. It's aspiration and business success and future possibilities. Someone's Mars and Aries. This is creative tension and longing and there's a new outlook. There are opposing forces taking place within you or some other person around you. Stay or go. It's goals and planning and preparation. There's potential ahead, and progression, and feeling in charge. It's someone that has power over others, and make sure to use that wisely. There's enterprise and energy and growth. The globe stands for future possibilities. Could be finding your place in the world. This is someone deciding their next move. It's potential yet unfulfilled. High ideals and aims, planning, even a desire for travel and a new outlook, and changes in the air. It's a feeling of rest restlessness. It's discovery, it's making decisions and leaving your comfort zone, and exploring new life experiences. It's doing things your way. It's being strong-minded and pushing forward, and knowing what you want. The King of Wands with the Two of Wands, this is knowing that what they have is good, but they still want some more. It's weighing the pros and cons. This person is a negotiator. 
The hanged man with the ace of swords is a philosopher. The hanged man with the two of pentacles is his being unable to decide. It's going back and forth between two ideas. Could be two good ideas. It's nonconformity or an also a hectic schedule. Can also represent manipulation by inaction. The hanged man with the two of wands are challenges you to find a creative outlet for all your eccentric behavior can also represent a waiting period. It's the choice to wait for the other person to act first. The Ace of Swords with the Two of Pentacles represents liter literary talents. The Ace of Swords with the Two of Wands is mind over matter and a victory due to strong mindedness. Two of Pentacles with the Two of Wands, this is balancing your wants and needs, a powerful business partnership, and discovering new and interesting way to make money. That's two twos in your layout, which represent a chord. Started a new oracle deck. It's called Numerology, Numerology by Michelle Buchanan. This is the guidebook, Numerology. You've got card number 26, and it represents love partnership. Card number 26 love partnership. This card indicates a time when romantic relationship is about to enter your life. Perhaps you're single and are about to meet someone special, or maybe your current relationship is about to progress to a deeper level of understanding and commitment. Either way, love is just around the corner, provided you believe. In the meantime, you're being encouraged to focus on what you have to offer rather than what you'd like to receive. By doing so, you'll attract a mutually loving relationship that serves both parties' needs. Remember, you must believe that love exists in order to attract it into your life. So work on any limiting beliefs or negative thoughts you may have about love. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you towards a romantic love relationship. So love and appreciate yourself as you are today. Embrace your imperfections and be assured that you are worthy of love. Your loved one will appear when you know about, without a doubt that you are lovable and deserving. There's an affirmation with this card, and it is, I don't know how, I don't know when, but love is on its way. Thanks, you guys, Sagittarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.